Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. This is 15.4 in Calculus 3. Uh, this is on Green's Theorem, and we've been looking at how to use it for uh, regular regions, but let's look at a region that is not a simply connected region, uh, like a multi multiply connected region. Uh, so we've been using Green's Theorem, and, and we've been doing it as counterclockwise around the region. So the line integral around the region is our path C, and our region R is on the inside of that. Uh, but this kind of changes when we have a hole in it. So I, 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 we want to change from counterclockwise around the region to the area of in, that we're integrating is to the left of the path. So if I go around this curve here, it's to the left along the arrow. We want to do the same here. Uh, this is going left here. And if we want to do address the inside path, the path needs to go the other direction. So it's going clockwise there. Okay. Uh, so the inner, the outer one is going clockwise, counterclockwise. The inner one has to go clockwise around the holes so that the region is on the outside to the left. Uh, but we want to keep positive orientation around the region. So we're going to split it up into two regions. Check this out. So we'll just cut a line in it. Okay. And now for one of them, we'll go around the outside loop. When we get to the, the line, we're going to follow it inwards and keep going and following it so that we have piecewise or positive orientation or counterclockwise the whole way around. Uh, and then we do the, the same thing happens with the other one. We're going around the outside of the loop counterclockwise. We get to the barrier. We go inward and we follow this direction like this and we end up capturing the whole region. It's kind of cool. So our, our main, our overall region uh, which is just to darken it up a little bit. This area right here, outside of that hole, that's the region we want. Uh, we need to go break it up into region one. And I got R2 listed twice. That's a scrub move. Let's call that R1 to go with curve one, and R2 goes with curve two. So we're going to break the region up into R1 and R2, which means we can do the line integrals there too as well. Uh, the R1 boundary would be C1. And the R2 boundary would be C2. Okay. Uh, we use this approach frequently when there's a discontinuity in the function or something like that. The origin is a common problem, and we'll take a look at that in our next example. Peace.